Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Uh, today's example we've got here is um, another Junkers JU88. This is the A5 uh, variant of the 5th uh, uh, group it's KG30 Adelaide Geschwader in Finland 1941. Another Corgi example um, from the Aviation Archive. So I'll get this bad boy open. I paid, uh, I got this for $190. Um, it was expensive, but because I bought this from England, so that was included, a lot of that uh, price was included um, with postage because it's quite, quite dear. So probably half of that would have been, yeah, the, the postage amount. So, but uh, yeah, 190 um, all up to my door. Mind the noise, we'll get some noise while uh, trying to open, open this bad boy up. And uh, we'll spin it around and uh, have a good look. Um, yeah, no, it's a pretty pretty good looking unit as per usual. Comes with little satchels there that have their landing gear and everything. Um, we do have a the standard hoggy stand here. Um, that that is metal. Um, that base is plastic, but goes together quite easily. Uh, let's get to the important part. I'll try and get this. There we go. A nice pop. Finally, comes out nice and easy. And um, we'll put this to the side. So keep that out of your way. And um, have a look at this bad boy. So, as you can see, typical Corgi fashion, it is really well done. Um, the lines on this uh, are uh, fantastic. It's uh, the, the detail, as per usual, very, very good. It is excellent detail. It's um, You can see all the uh, fine panel lines there. It is fantastic. I reckon it's really good. Even though the cockpit details here, you can you can see that cockpit detail there. Um, does have little pilots in there, so we'll we'll flip her around so you can get a bit of a closer look. And um, as you can see, you can see there's some nice pilot figure details there. So and and the engine detail very nice as per usual. Um, yeah, that they, they do spin freely, so propellers do spin freely, so. We'll, Spin this on on its on its back and try and get some focus for you. <laughs> and obviously, you know the landing gear and the and the gear doors go all there, as per usual, like the last ones. And the landing rear tail goes there. I won't go into the uh, you know assembly of that. I've done that on other videos, so I'll probably concentrate on you having a good look at this vehicle uh, aircraft. Sorry, and it does have a pretty pretty concise uh, uh, bomb load there. Um, the the black is beautifully well done. This satin corgi satin is really thick and really nice. I think it's excellent. So, and it's got all the, all the nice details. We'll just spin her over a, a, again and um, show you on this side. And as you can see, it's got all the correct markings. So it's got the tail marking. Um, it's got all the correct paint and everything on. Uh, I just. Yeah, corgi, corgi ones, um, they are as close as you're going to get to perfection, I, I think. Um, you do pay quite a lot for them, though. Um, that is the only problem. But, um, oh, you know, as I've said before, you get what you pay for. And, um, you know, you're getting really good quality with these, these builds. So, you know, oh, I think they're fantastic. So, yeah, I'd definitely grab one if you can grab one at a good price. And, you know, these, these renditions are really well done. So... But um, yeah, I think it's fantastic, so definitely. And oh, I'll just plonk it on the stand and place it on the, the table here. You can give a, a better look at it. But uh, yeah, no, definitely. So yeah, once again, so this is 170 second scale diecast. It's by Corgi, um, the Aviation Archive. So it's a Junkers JU88 A5. Uh, based around Finland in 1941-42. So, I'll uh, yeah. If you stay to the conclusion of this video, I'll chuck up some photos without my sausage fingers being in the way, and uh, you can have a look at it, you know, in a bit of a closer detail without my hands being there. So, and uh, if you you know if you enjoyed this video, please give us a little bit of a, a like if you can spare the, the time, and even subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with uh, future videos that I'll be putting up. So yeah. Thanks once again for coming and uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.